can you believe guns are still a thing? Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, how many more people need to die before they realize that guns are the problem? Just take them away. That's what I keep saying. That's, if you take them all I, away, what I problem too. solved. Guns them aren't them. the problem. What? If you disarm the populace, that means only the military and the police have the guns. In other words, only the government has control over the guns. Is that what you want? Really? Are you hearing this guy? Oh, I hear him. Sounds pro-gun to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm not pro-gun, man. I'm not pro-gun. I'm indifferent on guns, actually. But this, this situation is about control over your minds, just like it is every single time. Uh, and this, this situation is also about guns and how they kill people every single time. Listen, Good point. Uh, listen you. if you're Good for point gun you. control, yeah. that doesn't mean you're against guns. Because gun control is impossible. There's only centralization of gun ownership in the hands of the elite. Well, we need those elite to have those guns so they can protect us from the terrorists. Yeah, like James Stupid. Holmes. Adam Lanza. Omar Mateen. Mohamed Bohalaja Vihisha Boholi. Zokar and Tamerlan Tsarnaev. Steven Paddock. Paddock. Patsy probably didn't exist. What? Patsy, Patsy, Patsy. Brothers, Patsy's. And definitely a Patsy. Oh, wait, do you hear that? Sounds like the crazy police are on their way. That this shooting happened at the Harvest Festival in front of a giant black pyramid, <laughs> and the word paddock literally means Do you hear what he's talking animal about? enclosure. You know what you are? You are a conspiracy theorist sheep. Sheep, yep. sheep exactly. Like sheep I being led that. straight into the paddock. It's like how unique does he need to feel? I mean, and special. Yeah, it's like, do you read that Vice article? I did read that article. article. It's about him. The Vegas shooting was a false flag. I hate to break it. False you. flag. Obviously, false flag. It was obviously a false flag. False there was flag. multiple reports of several shooters and several shooters. False flags have been used by governments for centuries to manipulate and control the people. But that's not even what scares me the most. What scares me the most is that they know that people like me can see right through their shit, and they don't care. They don't give a fuck. That's scary. You smell that? It smells like a big old nothing burger is cooking. Mmm, extra cheese for me. Oh, the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm running that's away funny. from a house that's on fire. And everyone else is running towards the house. And I'm trying to tell them, hey, don't go towards the house because it's on fire. And not only are they saying, no, it's not on fire. They're also saying, fuck you for saying that it is. Wow. Shut up, you ignorant piece of crap. Yeah, shut up. Wow, you are so freaking stupid. ignorant. My he God, is stupid. My God, the shit that comes out of your mouth is just absurd. You know, it, it's stupid. Ignor ignorance is the problem. You keep yeah. ignoring a problem, the problem only gets worse. I.e., out of control, rogue, tyrannical government. If a man is born ignorant to parents that are ignorant in a society that's ignorant and he dies ignorant, then ignorance becomes the norm. War is peace, freedom is slavery, education is indoctrination, etc., etc., etc. Your thoughts are not your own. Hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you, but get the fuck out of our house. Yeah, get the fuck out Good. of here. I don't want to be here anyway. Fuck you. Fuck you. You, who I am. you know what? Have fun in the paddock. Ah, conspiracy theorist sheep. He is a sheep. And yeah. A, he's the sheep. And a douche. Yeah, big fat douchebag. Fucking oh, did you see that? Another celebrity came out against Harvey Weinstein. Oh, I'm so glad Harvey Weinstein, that pig, is getting it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag me too. too. <laughs> <sighs> is he telling the truth or is he telling a lie? What would ever give you cause to believe that these events are not being staged the way they always have been. And that's what our governments do. That's what they do every day, time and time again. They go to work and they sit down and they plot how to create more of this mayhem and how to create more control and how to take more rights away from the people and how to more serve their banker masters. That's the global situation that we've got. And if we don't do something about this, then what sort of a reality are we allowing to be created for our children?